perfect pose change. Same face, same style, no regeneration chaos. In this video, you'll learn how to use Quen Image Edit 2509 with ControlNet and Comfy UI to get consistent controlled pose edits in just a few steps. If you're building AI, influencers, or digital characters, what really matters is consistency. The same character, same vibe, just new poses. With Quen Image Edit 2509 and Control Net, you can repose your characters naturally for different shots without losing their identity. Before we start editing poses, let's make sure your setup is ready. You'll need a working install of Comfy UI and a few model files for Quen Image Edit 2509 and Control Net Union. You'll need these files. All the download links are grouped on our website, so you don't have to search for them individually. Here's how you can download a file directly on RunPod. Right-click your Comfy UI Models folder and choose Open in Terminal. Then type wget, paste the Hugging Face download link, and hit Enter. Do this for all the model files, placing each one in its correct folder. Diffusion Models, VAE, Text Encoders, LoRa's, and ControlNet. Once everything's in place, your folder should look like this. If it matches, you're ready to move on and load the workflow. Let's load the pose editing workflow. You can grab the JSON file directly from our website. It's right under the model links for easy access. Once it's downloaded, just drag and drop the workflow file onto your Comfy UI canvas. Comfy UI will automatically load all the required nodes for Quen Image Edit and Control Net Union. If you see any nodes outlined in red, that means some custom nodes are missing. To fix it, open the Manager tab, click Install Missing Custom Nodes, then press Install on the ones that appear. After that, restart Comfy UI. When you come back, those red outlines should be gone. Now you're ready to set up your first pose change. Before anything else, in the Load Models group, make sure that all the correct models are selected. The Quen Image Edit 2509 Diffusion Model, the Quen VAE, the Quen 2.5 Text Encoder, and the 4-Step Lightning LoRa. But before we continue, quick shout out to today's sponsor, FanView. FanView is a platform built for creators who want to monetize in new ways. And right now, one of the fastest growing trends is AI influencers. Yes, creators are already earning a serious income by building and running AI-driven accounts. To make it easy to get started, FanView has launched a free Creator Academy course. It gives you the exact step-by-step -step blueprint for setting up your own AI influencer and shows how people are turning their skills into a side hustle with some earning thousands every month. If you're curious about making money with AI or just want to see how this space works, check out the free course. I'll leave the link down below. It's definitely worth a look. All right, now let's jump back in. Now, bring in your base image. Drag your clean, well-lit subject into the image loader. Your input image will determine the final output size and aspect ratio. For the positive prompt, be clear about what should stay the same. For pose-only edits, try something like keep clothing, hair, and background identical. Preserve identity and lighting. Only adjust the pose to match the reference. Now scroll to Control Net and add your pose reference image. It can be a photo, a 3D render, or a stick figure. It'll be converted into a skeleton automatically. Set the strength to something like 1.8 to strictly follow the pose while keeping details intact. If the pose feels too rigid, bring it down slightly. If it drifts, bump it up a bit. Next, in the DW Pose Estimator node, enable body and hands. Turn face on only if you want facial landmarks guided by the reference. If you want to keep the original face shape, leave face off. Set the resolution to match your input image. For example, 1024 for a 1024 by 1024 image. Now check the case sampler. We only need four steps thanks to the Lightning LoRa. Make sure to set the sampler to Yoiler, the scheduler to Beta, and leave the noise at 1. This gives you fast, clean transfers. Now we can hit Run. Watch as the new pose snaps into place while the identity, lighting, and background stay intact. If the arms or hands look a bit off, you can slightly raise the strength in the control net node or enable hands in the DW Pose Estimator node if it wasn't already. If the face shifts too much toward the reference, disable face or lower the strength slightly. When you're happy, save the output. You've got a consistent character in a brand new pose ready for your next post. 
Let's take a look at a few examples so you can see how clean these results really are. Here we start with a front facing image and here's the side view version. Same character, same lighting, just a natural turn in pose. Next, a meditation pose. The body position changes completely, but every detail like clothing texture and background stays untouched. Here's another one with a simple arm raise. Subtle, but totally natural and consistent. And finally, a dynamic pose. Full body motion, same person, same style, same lighting throughout. And that's how you can use Quen Image Edit 2509 with Control Net Union and Comfy UI to create consistent characters with new poses, fast and clean. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next tutorial. What topic should we cover next? Let me know in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one.